Hello, sick people and their loved ones. In the interest of saving time and avoiding a lot of boring chit chat later, I'm Dr. Gregory House. You can call me Greg. I'm one of three doctors staffing this clinic this morning. Short, sweet, grab a file. This ray of sunshine is Dr. Lisa Cuddy. Dr. Cuddy runs this whole hospital, so unfortunately she's much too busy to deal with you. I am a board certified diagnostician with a double specialty of infectious disease and nephrology. I'm also the only doctor currently employed at this clinic who's forced to be here against his will. That is true, isn't it? But not to worry, because for most of you, this job could be done by a monkey with a bottle of Motrin. Speaking of which, if you're particularly annoying, you may see me reach for this. This is Vicodin. It's mine. You can't have any. And no, I do not have a pain management problem. I have a pain problem. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm too stoned to tell. So, who wants me? And who would rather wait for one of the other two guys? Okay, well, I'll be in exam room one if you change your mind. The top of my head's killing me. Hmm. We spent a week doing top of head in anatomy. I know just where it is. Ow! That is not the top of my head. Yeah, close enough for clinic. Your sinuses are clogged. Judging by the scratches on your hands, I'm guessing a new cat. Yeah, it was my mother's. She's dead. You keep a dead cat? No. My mother's dead. Oh. Poor cat. You're allergic. We can control it with antihistamine. One pill a day. Pills? You don't like to swallow. Not surprised. Forget the pills. I'll give you a nasal spray. Steroids? Is there something else you can give me? Well, if you live by the river, I've got a bag. How can I help you this beautiful morning? I, I told the nurse I have a runny nose, but I don't. I, I think I have uh, syphilis or, or gonorrhea. I think I have an STD. I think I have a... Margins are fine. No lesions. Color is good. How long have you been having night terrors? Three weeks. I was afraid to go to bed. It's exhausted, can barely function. What does that tell you? Nothing. It's just fun watching him blink. Name as many animals as you can that begin with the letter B. Go. Baby elephant? Baby elephant is actually a good answer. B is a bear of a letter. What does that tell you? Sore throat. Well, it's not lupus. Well, not everyone can operate a zipper. You know, the up, the down. What comes next? My new girlfriend. Never been with a guy who wasn't circumcised. So she freaked and... Aha, and you wanted Rivka to feel all gemutlicht. I get it. It's a Shonda. Huh? I got some box cutters, and um, just like Abraham did it, I sterilized them, which uh, I was told you to stop talking. I'm gonna get a plastic surgeon, get the Twinkie back in the wrapper. How old are you? 30. And you've never seen an after-school special? Dawson's Creek? How do you get to 30 and not know about condoms? Oh, God, I have an STD. No, but you will. Every patient who comes in here for an STD test has one thing in common. They had a SWS, sex while stupid. How old are you? 60. You're lying. That's not the point. You've never seen Dawson's Creek? And you've never seen an after-school special. How do you live to your age and not know about condoms? She has a menstrual problem. They're really bad. The pain keeps her in bed all day. Plus, she's super depressed. She said super depressed? She heard that birth control pills can make her feel better. 
She wants birth control pills for her PMS. I guess. Judging by the redness around your mom's nostrils and the tissue she's got conveniently stashed in her wristband, I'd say her problem is more likely a URI than a PMS. A URI? Of a respiratory infection. A cold. I don't think so. I also think she's got a problem with SAC. SAC? Thanks for playing. Stupid American child. If you want the pill, all you have to do is to walk into any health clinic in Jersey alone and ask for it. What exactly was your plan? You're gonna exchange the birth control pills for some over-the-counter decongestants and hope that your mom's cold lasts another six years? No. Is that for a cold? No, that's for your ovaries. I assume you haven't had a stroke. Have you ever had a blood clot? No. Super. In three months, we need a refill. Take a bus to a free clinic. Don't wait around hoping for mom to get another sniffle. Not the sharpest chopstick in the drawer, is she? Molly, Molly. Okay. $50 to any patient who is willing to leave here right now. House. You can't. My money. I don't care. People do not. They'll leave for 50 bucks. They're not all that sick. Or they're poor and desperate, which is why this place is here. If they're that poor, then they'd rather have 50 bucks. <coughs> Can I have the money? Look, it's monogrammed. He doesn't need money, ergo, he's not sick. And the blood? Yeah, it could be anybody's. Monogram's definitely his. We need to talk. My asthma. They said they'd fix it, but it didn't make any difference at all. Well, sometimes doctors make mistakes. Anna, you need to try twice as hard to fix them. Are you using your inhaler? All the time, go through one a week. You sure you're using it right? Do I look like an idiot? No. Nope. Why don't you show me how your inhaler works? <laughs> Junk. Uh, what was that all about? She's making chicken recipes. What are you doing? Level four. No, no, I mean, what... I know what you meant. We're waiting. My throat hurts. So you said. How long are we waiting? Two minutes less than when you asked me two minutes ago. Hi. Hi. I'm Dr. Cuddy. Nice to meet you. Dr. Cuddy, thanks for the consult. His throat seems to have some condition. Say ah. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. He has a sore throat. Of course. Yes, why didn't I? Because he said that it hurt, and I, I should have deduced that meant it was sore. I was in a board meeting. Patients come first, right? Wouldn't want to prescribe a lozenge if there was any doubt about its efficacy, huh? He once asked me why I think I'm always right. And I realized that you're right. At least I think you're right. I don't really know now, do I? Hey, I'm here. Go home. Drink some hot tea. My nature isn't what it used to be. The little man has lost some bounce in his step. He needs to crank it up. Have himself some fun this weekend. He wants the blue pills. You're talking about your penis in the third person. Me and him. Two people. Separate vacations? That'd be a drag for one of you. I don't think you need the pills. I think you have a conflict of medications. You need to up your insulin to chocolate chip ice cream levels. Insulin? Yeah, you remember. That's the stuff you take for the diabetes that you forgot to tell the nurse about. Your hands, no hair, which means nerve damage. And your shoes look about two sizes too small, which means you've lost sensation in your feet. And then there's your pants. My pants tell you I have diabetes? No, they tell me you're an idiot. Powdered sugar on the right pant leg. Based on the two napkins in your pocket, I'd be willing to bet it's not your first donut of the day. You can meet a pills? Sure, why not? If you've got heart disease from ignoring the diabetes, they'll kill you. Otherwise, you two have a fun weekend. 